Hello, it's Daniel here from Sand IT. We're making this short video just to communicate some information about your communications setup here at Cold Drops Yard. So, we're going to start with three topics of this video. We have one, which is the setup, two, support call process, three, moves, adds, and changes. We've got three topics in this video, and by all means, pass this video around to anybody you need, think needs to see it. So, setup. We're in one of the units at the moment filming live and behind me we've got a home hub box. Inside the home hub box is what we call an ONT. Your ONT is where we deliver your services to. So whether you've ordered a broadband circuit, a phone line, a SIP service, everything will come down to here. I've actually got another unit here to show you so you can see. This is your ONT. You can have two phone lines here and your broadband will come off one of these ports here, normally port one. From there, we'll be plugging our router into it. Now, setup wise, when we do the smaller units, which are the turnkey units, your router will be located in this box. If you're having a fit out done and you're having a till area and you'd like your, OA, your router, your Wi Fi router, by your till so you can plug all your equipment in the back of it, you'll need to have cabling put in. At a minimum of two cables we'd recommend. So if you present your cabling up to under, for example, under here, you could then patch down from there into your cabling. If you're having a telephone, you'll need the second cable for your telephone line. Here, on the second cable, you'll need a BT monster socket installed. A BT master socket is needed if you're having an alarm, which is alarm monitoring like Red Care, or you're having a PDQ machine that uses dial up. You'll need that master socket installed here as well. Okay? And then the cable can go out from wherever it goes to. So if you want this in your till and you want to plug into here, that's absolutely fine. You just need to put the cabling in and patch it into here. If you're not having cabling, you will find your router sitting here like that. Okay, so that's the cabling and set up and what you're getting for the set up. Step two, fault calls. Now, if you do experience a fault, we ask you kindly to do a two-point check. And that saves a lot of time. Check one, come over to the box, open it up, Check you've got green lights here. You're in one of these boxes, it's got a POM light, P O M, a POM light. As long as that's solid green, power is on, and then you have green flashing lights on your router, they're the first steps. If you haven't got green lights on here, it's normally because the power's been turned off here or the power's been turned off on your router. Check those things first. I know it sounds ironic, but please do check them. If the POM light here is flashing, that means your service has gone down. And then if you raise a ticket, you need to email support at san-it.co.uk. That's support at san-it.co.uk. Email us on that address and we'll need two pieces of information with that email. You need to give us this NA code. That is the circuit reference. And below is the FIN code. The FIN code tells us your physical location. We need those two pieces of information. Without them, we really can't help you. They are managing. So each box will have a label in here. They'll be in here. You need to give us the information. Also, your contact information will be helpful. And also, a description of the form. Tell us what you're experiencing. Once we get your, receive your email, we can then log on to this ONT. If you've got an, a router from Sand IT like this, we can log on to here and we can log on to the router as well. We can check both things, devices. So, check. Once we check it, we'll then come back to you and we'll tell you what the fault is. We'll tell you there's a full process to go through, as in the time to get you back online. Nine times out of ten, it's normally something we can fix remotely. Power's on, support's on, will work. If you've opted for your managed service, Everything I just said is not relevant to you. You've gone for the managed service, wherefore our help desk monitors your connections on here and here 24 hours a day. 
Should there be a loss of service, we'll be phoning you and investigating what's gone wrong. We ask you kindly, if you're going to power off this unit, if you're, if you're doing something that you want to do a change, just drop us an email and let us know you're turning off your power because we'll get an alert and we'll start thinking you've got a problem. So if you've got a problem, let us know. We'll find out what's going on for you on your behalf. But if you want to just down the power, this unit must, these units need to stay on 24 hours a day and must be left working if you've got a managed service with us. Okay, if you've got our full network system being installed, that means switches, Wi-Fi access points, tell us when you email us or when we email you what the problem is experiencing. We'll be able to see from our management console what is going on and we'll be able to fix you much quicker. That is the support call process done. If you have any questions about our support, please drop us an email at support at sand-it.co.uk or by all means give us a ring on the number. You've all spoken to us already so we'll have our numbers. Also, leave us information and pass information to your store manager or your operations manager because what you don't do is people be lost and not know the information. The information is inside here on the labels. We'll also put an email sticker in here with our, phone, our email address in here. So support at sand-it.co.uk, that is the support. <laughs> Moving on to moves and some changes. Moves and some changes. At any time during your 12 month contract, if you're not happy with the speed, you can increase it at any time. There's no notice period. There is a small admin fee, but we can change your speed up or down, whatever you need to do. If you need an additional phone line, for example, you've got no phone lines and you want a phone line, by all means, we can provide you with an analog phone line. And that could be for whatever service you need it for. If it's for a phone, if it's for security, or it's for someone to dial into you remotely. Also, the moves and changes, if you've got a third party IT company and they want to come inside your building onto your IT systems, email us. If you want port forwarding set up on the router, we can do port forwarding set up and give gateways to other third party providers, including your own internal team. So if you want third party access or access yourselves, we can arrange that. You will not have, unfortunately, access to the router itself, but we can provide this for you. I think I've covered everything off that needs to be communicated to you right now. If you do have any questions, please drop us an email or you're more than welcome to give us a call. I think that only leaves me one thing, and that's to thank you for choosing Sand IT, and we wish you every success here at Coldrops Yard.